Good morning guys, I'm just going to do a quick video on our latest 26 foot triaxle low loader. Um, very high spec this one. Um, got a little rusty here look. Pretty cold today down here in Devon. It's dry, pretty cold. Uh, yeah, so I'll just run through a few things with you. Some nice extras on here which some of you might like to see. Um, let's get into it. So first initial reaction to this is obviously the colour. <laughs> We've gone with uh, not quite a nardo grey but it's actually what they call a squirrel grey finish with our luminous yellow high vis package which we offer in the options also available in high vis orange which is a nice touch and then obviously we put the black rims black ramps black toolbox black skid and a black cover plate on the swan neck just to break it all up i think it looks quite smart to be honest uh, no sprung drawbar on this one so it's all solid fixed drawbar braced up with a bolted fixed hitch on the front so we've got our standard fold away skid which is actually galvanized and then painted with a galvanized paint same with all the black on here it's all galvanized so this trailer was spec with air only brakes no hydraulic brakes on this one all the hydraulics you see are your ramps at the back and there's our hydraulic cheese wedge floor at the back as well with a shut off valve um, there for safety so this is our new swan neck um, designed in such a way that nothing can sit in the back water will run off and everything is on a bulkhead fitting so any hydraulic pipes Susie lines uh, electric cable can all be replaced from this point rather than having to undo all the cables and hydraulics which are underneath the trailer. We've obviously got all the usual Grizzly spec high vis marker tape all around the trailer and we're now featuring our new Devon flag <laughs> in the logo. So we put all our standard bale trailer fittings on so a lathe can be put in the top box section mountings and we do actually offer a winch point here as well which is a frame above here with the winch facing backwards all on hydraulics you're getting cold rust me <laughs> this one's actually fitted with the dynamic indicators on the back shunt valve is here we've got tie down points for if it's transported on a trailer and even some bracing points down there have tie down chaining points included a stowaway ladder which is a nice little feature just to get up onto your bucket plate up the front and we've actually incorporated some tie down points rusty out the way into the headboard to strap buckets to the headboard so the ladder is a nice little touch and coming into one of the side boxes this one has two in here we actually have our air tank drain valve so the air tank is actually behind the main cross member so it's a little bit awkward to get at so we put the drain valve in the box so no excuses to drain the tank we have tie down hook points all down the side rail and then where the digger sits we actually have 20 mil solid bars four of these to chain the digger down coming down under the running gear we've got manual handbrake to the front axle and um, the suspension on this one is a york triple leaf parabolic suspension supplied by distag and we've already mentioned that it's on air only torsion arms on all three axles nice and heavy duty center rockers under here really good suspension actually and brings the trailer down as low as possible but keeping a nice bit of strength in the side rail so we've got all our standard grizzly finishing touches here some really nice curved wheel infills and everything's sort of designed to run off and stay clean 
even the side crash bars comes down and runs off. The orange LED marker lights you see down the side, they are marker lights. Um, they are also indicators as well. So coming round to the back, guys, um, and here we have all our standard Grizzly features, which is the mud flaps, stainless steel strap, red chevron tape, tie down points for transport, and under here is where we feature the double acting spool valve for the ramps. And this one actually features a float system. So you've got your standard up, down, and then down again is float. So when tracking up with the digger, everything's free to move and float around a bit rather than causing damage to your main rams on the back. So in here is the hinge point for the hydraulic cheese wedge floor. Um, underneath here, we actually have single acting rams which actually push this floor up and then lock them off on the tap at the front and then put them into float to come down. Simple system, works well. So we've got eight foot ramps on this one. We do do an option of six foot ramps. The eight foot ramps actually allow one single angle from top of the trailer to the floor. So no step in the middle. Quick look at the ramps built to very very high standard and a bit of thought's gone into these so every top level is a slope so water mud debris will run off um, you see a lot of manufacturers build these out of box section water sits in the box section goes between the sheet work and obviously corrodes in between all the steel these ramps are actually galvanized as well as painted um, whether you're wondering why these holes are here, that's ventilation holes for the galvanizers. Uh, we've got our twin strobe lights, one over there as well. Long vehicle boards. There's actually a hook here for doing bales if you want to go right up over the ramps. Dynamic LED lights which shoot across left and right. Uh, we always put work light holders on as standard not specced with it on this one marker lights are all sealed in proper conduit and all the uh, hinge points are fully greasable safety bars with the grizzly cutouts and they are nicely stowed away on here when in use let's talk about the finish so we've got the high-vis vinyls cut out to shape on the ramps, the wheels and a few finishing bits up the front there. Our paint finish is a two-pack primer which is a filler based primer from MIPA and then a polyurethane two-pack industrial top coat. Um, we offer two types, we offer the acrylic which is a glossier finish, not quite as strong as the polyurethane, but um, depending on what people like, some people like it shiny and glossy, which isn't quite as hard wearing, but on this one we've gone with the polyurethane and it is hard. <laughs> so up on the deck we have four eight ton tie down points for chaining, two up front, two up back, and we have the careering hardwood boards which sit above the side rail ever so slightly. Uh, we've put the long haul Sailoon mini super singles on this one, the 445s. Can't say too much about these tyres, they are brilliant. <laughs> so same again on this side lockable storage box and all the same features from the other side I just plugged the trailer into the back of the pickup just to quickly show you guys the LED lights on this one we've got the neon dynamic marker lamps 
so indicators are inbuilt to this one on the back. That is an option with the indicators. Um, side market indicators are standard on all our trailers. Come around to the back, we've got another forward facing marker light, which is actually really nice at night. I towed it yesterday and that is a nice little feature, being able to see the white light at the back left corner. So dynamic LEDs on the back with the neon surround, twin strobe lights up the top, all your normal basic grizzly stuff. We like it. <laughs> Number plate has lights above. Okay, that's about it guys. We've got to go in now, Rusty's getting a bit cold. <laughs> um, any more information on this trailer, give us a buzz. Um, you've probably been following the build on Facebook or on Instagram and all that kind of stuff. Uh, we have a full spec sheet available, price list. But like I say, we can custom build to your needs. Anything you want to change, it's no problem, we can do that. So nice one guys, catch you all later.